and welcome to Geek Renaissance. My name is Ashley, this is Jocelyn, and we are going to do our first unboxing. So we have here um, the Awkward Yeti uh, board uh, card game that I kickstarted that I'm really excited about. So I have never done an unboxing, but I am happy to With see your, what's in here. Your very large knife. Very large knife. And there are a couple things in here besides the game, um, because they combined shipping and just shipped it all out at once, so we'll have a couple surprises, because I don't remember exactly what I ordered. It's been a while. Yay! Surprises for everybody! That's the nature of kickstarting things, is it shows up eventually and it's like Christmas all over again. Woohoo! Alright, so, um, we have my favorite character, uh, the gallbladder. I just bought a little magnet. Oh, mm -hmm. I love the gallbladder! Uh, I and then, these. um... This was actually a present for you. It's oh, for little, me. I make did these sticker for the mm, gallbladder. I showed to that that camera too. I make did these a little sad gallbladder because he tried very hard and did so bad. Oh. <laughs> so that was actually a present for oh, you. Aw, thanks. Um, all right. So now we have the beautiful organ attack. Oh my. I've never heard of this. Yes, so the principle of it is that you're building a um, a body with cards, and then you're attacking the other people's body with diseases. Oh no! Okay. So like, if I have eyes, you could give my eyes conjunctivitis. Oh, oh gosh. So let's see. Oh look, it's a little cute book. It's actually. Oh, how fun! It's shaped like a book in there. That's pretty slick. <laughs> now the it's like. The sort of nervous because you don't want to cut the important bits. Man, that really does. Oh, cool! Look, this Ooh. really is. It's meant to look like a medical textbook. Oh, wow. Because it's nice and humor. Dude, that is uh, fun. The Awkward Yeti presents Organ Attack, a game of medical maladies. I like it. So let's see what we've got. Ooh. Got a really cute kind of drawing on the inside and. A cute sticker of the whole ah! family of organs from top to bottom, although tongue is kind of on top ruling the roost with some ice cream. And then we've got eyes, brain, teeth. I can't see all of it. Looks like esophagus, trachea. There's lungs. an angry angry king of thyroid there. He's always fun. Happy little lungs. Very happy heart with his butterfly. I love the happy heart. Less happy stomach. <laughs> Less happy liver and irritable bowel. <laughs> My bowel is just not feeling this at all. Then this says, objective to remove all com all of your opponent's organs before they remove all of yours. Oh, gosh. The family-friendly game of organ harvesting. <laughs> <laughs> Two to six players, ages 10 plus. So, nice, brightly colored, pretty clear rules. Hopefully we'll get through those pretty quick. Sweet. And then... Dude, I really like this packaging. Yeah, this packaging nice is and, so fun. It'll be a nice one to set up on the on the shelf. Uh, it, I think it'll be really great when like people come look at. Oh, look at this very smart looking book, and it's wait, what now? <laughs> Hello, I am an expansion pack. Ooh, this one came Pants with pants. a uh, Ready Player Six expansion pack. Ooh, so I don't know if More that's people. Kickstarter exclusive or if that's normally there. So, some examples we've got, um, you can give somebody else a stroke, oh. a blood clot loosens and travels to the brain, causing a blockage of blood supply. Best if treated early, but could be fatal. Could be fatal. And then there's a bunch of platelets that say, I think we're stuck. Platelet party! No, seriously, we're stuck. <laughs> Platelet party! <laughs> Platelet party! He doesn't care. That one guy just doesn't care at all. They're having fun. Oh, you can give him diabetes! Type 1! Pancreas isn't producing enough insulin, or the body is resisting it. Type 1 is often genetic, not related to obesity. So this is like a learning game, too. And it says, you are producing insulin, right? And Pancreas is kind of dumb. He's just like, blorp. <laughs> <laughs> what else? There's bunches of afflictions. An immunity boost. Ooh. It looks like this is a, um, a block to actually defend yourself. Instantly block any opponent play. Both cards are discarded. Uh, I'm about to fall. There you go. Yeah. Then we've got some more afflictions. Oh, a botched surgery. Oops, oh, a daisy oh must have been looking on the wrong chart. Play as an affliction on any organ. I usually work on iguanas. <laughs> I wouldn't want an iguana doctor as my nope, neurosurgeon. It, the, it's drawn funny, so I thought like kind of half his glasses had been sort of knocked off, but I guess not. I suppose that's just sort of ooze or scunge from... See, like, it's like... 
No, he's got a little, like, magnifying thing so oh, that okay. he can see closer. And But it's not doing very good for him. Nope. Because usually iguanas. That's why. What else have we got? Contagious. Upon being attacked, you can instantly play this card as an affliction wild against any opponent. So that'll be a fun one. Yeah. What else? Oh, we got? Metastasis, spreading of disease such as cancer to other areas. After this game's play... kind of dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're trying to kill the other person, basically. I, that's true. And like you said, it's a little bit learning. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit of a learning game. You will know more about medicine after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glaucoma, increasing pressure on the eye that causes intense pain and vision loss. Dude, it kills! Block it off, bro. <laughs> Eyeballs. Don't know that's... that you can walk off glaucoma, but that guy's got some pumping iron going er, on. So. Er. Makes me think of that one where um, it's like the two eyeballs, and the so the two eyeballs that look like this, all like huge and whatever, and then the stomach that's all little and shrimpy. And uh, the eyeballs are like, we will eat this entire pie! And the stomach's like, but we can't, seriously. We will do it! We can and we will! <laughs> These Ones. are the organs. This is how you build your... Oh, why does King Thyroid look crazy? He looks like one of those... Because he is crazy. One of those inbred kings. Yeah, he, he thinks he runs everything, but he doesn't really always know what he's doing. I still am getting kind of a chuckle out of your, like, doing this very delicate work with, like, a gigando... It's in the spirit of the thing. Technique. I'm doing surgery. I'm doing card surgery. There we go. I like it. So we have teeth. The human- I can't read upside down, I'm sorry. It's just gonna have to be upside down. <laughs> yeah. The human adult mouth has 32 teeth if you include wisdom teeth. It has four teeth if you ignore 28 of them. Because why not? <laughs> yeah, you can ignore I only had three wisdom teeth. I was missing That's one. That's so weird. Wisdom teeth are a weird kind of a thing. I can't- Yeah, I had four. I remember because it hurt a lot. Like, <laughs> I mean, obviously I wasn't awake when they took them out, but- But I had, like, spongy bits on all four. Because, you know, like, so they, they cut it out and they were like- we're going to have to remove a thin eggshell covering of bone. Oh, it sounded so polite. It was not polite. They're like, I come out of surgery and they literally tell my mother, because I was in high school, they tell my mom, they're like, so it was more than an eggshell covering. <laughs> they apparently had to like saw. Yours were in there. Yeah, they were. It was not good. I don't remember hearing anything about any eggshells in my mouth. But okay. I do remember t tasting cloves for like a week or however long until that pack. Oh? They like packed my wisdom teeth holes yeah. full of some gauze that had, I guess, something like clove oil on it. But it was supposed to help keep me from getting dry socket, and I didn't, so I, I mean, it's it's worth, worth tasting cloves for a while. For I mean, there are worse tastes. Not dry socket. To be sure. Moving on down, we've got esophagus, the food pipe. It connects the throat to the stomach. <laughs> it was like a big old licorice. Yeah, you don't miss him until he's gone. <laughs> he just kind of sits there until you choke. King thyroid, locating in your neck. Located in your neck, the thyroid produces hormones that regulate metabolic rate, uh. affecting pretty much every organ. Sometimes that power can go to its head. Uh. And that's why he gets a little crazy. Well, he does. He looks like one of the little inbred, like an Egyptian <laughs> god king or whatever. It's like two sets of cousins and it was bad. Brain. The brain consists of multiple lobes that work independently, as well as together, to control everything from movement and reflexes to thoughts, memories, language, and emotion. Use it wisely. Use it wisely. And in, um... In this uh, Awkward Yeti general comic, Brain and Heart is a main stars, and they're always, like, Brain's telling Heart, no, take it easy, we need to think about this, and Heart's like, wee, off wee. chasing butterflies somewhere. I love that one. We've got Pancreas, the one that blurped out earlier, not doing his Blurp. job. The Pancreas produces insulin for the body, which regulates how the body breaks down sugars and hard He does, like, just completely inept on this little card. Yeah, and then it gives him, he just says, dorp. Dorp. I don't think he. I don't think he speaks. Dorp. It's interesting how they choose which organs do and don't. Mm -hmm. The gallbladder. Gallbladder it's adorable. is a little dude that collects and stores extra bile produced by the liver. I remember, I make did these. <laughs> yeah, he tries real hard. He does. Spleen. Oh goodness, spleen looks like a ninja. Oh, hello. The silent, In the dark. This silent protector filters out old blood and produces white blood cells for the immune system. <laughs> but you can live without them, so you're only so good. Oh, you're kind of cool, though. But he does look real awesome. Yeah. I mean, he, he looks straight up scary, actually. Liver, everybody's favorite organ. The liver oh. helps filter blood, aids in so digestion sad. by breaking down fats and proteins and producing bile, and stores glycogen, glycogen, a type of sugar, to use as energy. At first I thought that said for the game, like, to use against enemies. I'm like, glycogen storage attack, go! Oh, go, liver, go! Kidneys, oh, look, they're buddies! Oh, buddy kidneys. Located on either side of your back, kidneys prepare waste for liquid removal via the bladder, assist with red blood cell production, help regulate blood pressure, and produce an active form of vitamin D. Go team! Go team! They're like, high five. High five, bro. 
Why does the bladder look so happy when the <laughs> liver looks so sad? Because bladder stores the urine that's filtered by the kidneys and attempts to hold it until you're ready to go pee pee. Maybe he's not happy. Maybe he's just like too. <laughs> I like the <laughs> the attempts to hold it. Like, yeah, he may, he may not. We'll yeah. see. Heart. Oh, heart has a different color background. Heart, heart. is very white. It's so AKA happy. the cardiac muscle. The heart pumps blood to the rest of your body, delivering much needed oxygen and nutrients. So he's off doing his own thing as heart normally does. Mm -hmm. Like, cause there's reality and then happiness and ha heart's like happiness and mm -hmm. the brain's like no heart reality. Mm -hmm. Bowels and this that's why they always draw him kind of angry because he's he's the irritable bowel. Oh, I got it. Consisting of the large Over. intestine colon and the small intestine, the bowels finalize the digestion process, ensuring a proper poo. Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tongue, who is featured with his favorite ice cream. The, ice cream. Uh, Awkward Yeti always gives the thing a lift. That muscle in your mouth that moves food to the back of your throat and helps taste pizza. Yay, pizza. So thank you very much, Tongue, for helping us taste pizza. Yes, pizza. We appreciate you. And other things. Eyes. Did you see the eyeballs? Uh, we saw them on glaucoma. Oh, okay. Uh, eyes. Perceiving vision never looked this good. Light passes through the pupil, gets processed by rods and cones into usable info for the brain. And I, so I really... like pump eye. They are, but I'm not quite sure why. I don't know. Because they're stronger than your stomach. They have to be. <laughs> Lungs. They, they oh look my. like they're about to go for a, a jog. <laughs> they're all ready. <laughs> Connected by the bronchi that branch from the trachea, the lungs <clears throat> breathe air and put oxygen to good use. So, nice. doing good things. Go lungs, go. Appendix. Oh look, he's he, so happy. He also he's looks real happy. He's very excited to be here. A tiny organ attached to the large intestine. Its function has been the subject of debate, but some believe it helps by providing good bacteria to the digestive tract after illness. Go, Appendix, go. If you make him mad, he might kill you, so. Yeah, that too. <laughs> He's like, he, he might, might explode be and you'll too. die. <laughs> Stomach. Stomach also looks pretty pleased with himself. Although kind of sheepish, like he did something bad. <laughs> At the end of the esophagus, this acid-producing bag starts to further what? break down those bites you clearly didn't chew enough. Clearly. Clearly did not. Uh -uh. Trachea. The windpipe. It directs air from the mouth and nose through the bronchi and into the lungs. So, he's kind of important. He, does, he looks kind of weird, though. Like, I yeah. don't think he's very excited about this whole he thing. He looks sort of Jailbird-esque. I mean, with the stripes. I realize it's supposed to be, like, the reinforcement and whatever, but... Cartilage rings. Yes. What you said. T tonsils. Uh, they... No! Oh, I'm sorry. There's, like, one smart tonsil and one little, like... Little derpy tonsil. Very derpy tonsil. Located in the back of the throat, tonsils trap airborne bacteria and produce immune cells that help kill germs and prevent infections. But you can live without them, too. Apparently, lots of people have them out as a kid. Did you have yours out as a kid? I did not. I had my adenoids out, but not my tonsils. But my sister had her tonsils out. So. I did not have my tonsils out, but every time I go to the doctor and do the whole say, ah, thing, they're like, oh, you must have had your tonsils out. No, they're just, they're midgets. They're I tiny midget tonsils. tonsils. They well, don't... either that or they're just really good at their job. They're blending into the background. They've never <laughs> been inflamed. I guess not. Yeah. I've never had strep throat either. You have super tonsils. I mean, I get sore throats, but they always test it. I'm going throat. with super tonsils. Actually, I have super, super tonsils. tonsils. So, my tonsils, there's my tonsils. Yeah, there you go, smart tonsils. I have the smart tonsils, apparently. Yes. And, and, then, and you gave, so some other poor person has, like, two little derpy tonsils and actually has two smart tonsils. <laughs> Did your brother get the derpy tonsils? I don't think so. I don't think he ever had his tonsils out either. You guys all have super tonsils. Good genetics. Yeah, you go. And then the last card we've got is a wild card. Uh, affected by any affliction card, but requires four afflictions to remove. So it's a little harder to kill. You can pretend he's any organ, but it's hard to get rid of him. Nice. So that's pretty cool. Cannot be brought back from the organ discard pile, so Sad. you don't get to save him. So if, he... so if you lose him, he's lost right. forever. Forever. And it's interesting that there's only one of each of these, so we're all going to be building bodies. With missing bits? <laughs> yeah, like partial zombie Frankenstein bodies, and you get tonsils, and maybe I get a trachea. And maybe that's why some are derpy and some are smart looking. I guess. So we've got one last pack to open, the expansion pack. So let's. Also, I gotta I gotta point out I like the picture on the front of the. Uh, can, there we go. I like the picture on the front of the. What do you call it? I don't know. Rules. The little rules. The little rules booklet. Like everybody's just having. It's, it's just an all-out brawl. <laughs> all right. Hello. I am an expansion. Flip me over to learn more. Ready Player 6. This pack contains four new organ cards, four new afflictions, and a whole bunch of uh, new cards, including plenty of instant plays. Add these cards to accommodate another player or just to change things up. Don't want to use it anymore? Too many wilds? Just remove any Ooh, cards wild. with a star icon in the corner. Um, if you add organs from the deck, make sure you also add the afflictions, even if you don't add anything else. So you can't have an organ that can never be afflicted. That would not be 
Yes, no that'd good. be kind of cheeny. So what are our extra organs? Here we go. Mm. Our extra organs that we get. Um, I don't know if that counts. There is nose, the thing on your face that smells. <laughs> that was super simple, to the point. Hopefully smells as a verb and not smells as like oh, a yes. verb or whatever Although, I don't know what anybody except your very nearest and dearest notice if your nose smells. <laughs> How does it smell, Jasper? <laughs> I'm then feeling we've... uncomfortable. <laughs> then we've got skeletal muscle who looks like he's had a few too many roids there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need a little roid rage happening. He's like, Arr. <laughs> Oh, Expand, gosh. contract, repeat. Your bones can go nowhere without these dudes. Mm. Then we've got bones, speaking of. Ta-da! Bones give you that distinct human-like appearance so we can tell each other apart from jellyfish. <laughs> they also contain marrow, which produces new cells. Mm. Otherwise, it'd be extremely blah, black, and flat. Just blah. Pancakes. I feel like I read a kid's book about that. I don't know. If we were blah, black, and flat? It was like... You have no bones. You just, like, flop around. Although, would you even be able to do this? Because your bones, I mean, your muscles attach on your bones and repel against things. I mean, little amoebas like, can move, so you you could blob around a little bit. <laughs> so we would, <laughs> like, pull forward. Nice. Our last organ Gross. is skin. The largest organ in your body is that, oh, and octopi don't have bones. Do they? No, I don't think they do. They're very They're cartilaginous. Yeah. yeah. They They're got good. the little beak. True, but that's not a bone. Not a bone. That's wrong. So, but they, they, can, they can get around real good. I would be an octopus. I'd be okay with being an octopus. Just have you like s- curl your little tentacles around things? Yes. Like, have you seen where they, like, squeeze through, like, octopus is big and it fits through a hole like that big? Yeah. I think that's really cool. And there was an octopus that was over in the World Cup that, like, predicted all the winners somehow. What? I don't know. We it's gotta look that up. We octopi are, like, crazy smart. Skin. The largest organ in your body is that hairy coat that you call your skin. Moisturize, <laughs> and you could look just like this in cross-section. Oh, oh boy. I I don't think I want to... Uh. You know, I'm kind of glad that it's a cross-section of skin and not, like, a man oh, suit oh, yeah, or something. Like, yeah. like, that'd be a little weird. Because that's the only one that's, like, a cross-section. But he's it running is. around. He's got his little well, hair follicles It looks much more stuff. interesting that way. Because, like, if you just see from the top-down skin, it's just, like, a parched desert looking... But he doesn't have a face. This is the only one I've seen with no face. Hmm. He has no eyes or anything. He, All the other ones have he eyes. He had too much detail to have a face. Unless you can fi- make some eyes out of that. I don't think I can do that. No, I don't think so. No just, eyes. Just faceless. And then lots of afflictions for said organs. It's alive! Need another immunity boost. Day old burrito. Oh, goodness. This afflicts your colon or your stomach. Oh. A trip to the back alley food cart results in a two day bathroom holiday. So oh, no. That, that's Mm-mm. no fun. You don't want a day old burrito. I do not. No, thank you. Uh, hello. In the card, it just says, hello, I'm the expansion pack. So oh, that's a really cool little tidbit. Situs invertus, a rare condition in which some organs, like the heart and lungs, are reversed. What? Reverse the order of play. So that's a real thing. In in some people, you'll take an x-ray, and you'll think that they're, you put your x-ray up backwards. But no, they are backwards. Like What? So their body's, like, left-handed, kind of? It's just a mirror image of what it should be. Like, your heart, like, lays... You know, you put your yeah, 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 your heart side right. of your heart well, yeah. in sinus and vertus would be on your right side. Oh, okay. So. I was thinking because the pictures got it like up and down, so I thought maybe the heart would be like down more. So maybe in Doctor Who, and Martha goes to like listen to the doctor, and he's all like coy smile about it. Uh-huh. I wonder if her first thought was maybe he's got sinus and vertus, and then she. Goes I bet she would because she was a doctor. She's like, oh, I've made this discovery. I have discovered it. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, Martha. She's discovered something way better. Yeah, true. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy, sudden attack of sleep. Play on any opponent instantly. That player cannot make any moves nice. for the next full round because they just go to sleep. Have you seen the little clip of Rusty the narcoleptic dog? He's like a little, it's like a little wiener dog. No. And he's literally like this little green field, like little yellow daisies or whatever. And he's like sniffing and bouncing around happily. He's like bounce, 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 <laughs> like flat, just face plant asleep. He sounds like he mixed with a mating goat or a, a fainting fainting goat? goat. Fainting goats are also hilarious. I mean, it's terrible, but they are hilarious. Common cold. Pass this nuisance card to mm. an opponent and take one of their cards without seeing it. This card cannot be discarded under any circumstances. Ugh. So he looks pretty gross. I don't like him. So I think that's about it for the cards. All right. Well, that is organ attack. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully we'll have um, a playing version game. Yeah, man. To show you cool. guys soon. So that was. Dude. Really cool. So I hope that I get to play this soon, but it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I like I like organs. <laughs> no, organs and the various things that happen to them. Thanks for watching. Bye.
Sweet. <laughs> I make the D. Thank you for my little. I make the D. <laughs>